am going to Los Angeles. California. Tomorrow at 5 a.m. And I know exactly what the future has in store for me, so please excuse me while I give future me a quick little message. <clears throat> Hello, Hallie. I hope you're having a great time editing this video on your flight. You could be sleeping and you're doing this, so high five. I also know that this is your first trip alone as a woman, fully funded by you, which is incredible. Awesome job. I also know that every time you've tried to travel alone, you either forget something, you end up crying for some reason, it's stressful, you are late for some reason, or you just don't travel at all, probably because of these four other factors. And because of the me right now doing all these things for you, you're not going to be that way. And my message to any of you that are watching this thinking, I'm also going on a vacation pretty soon and I want to have an incredible time, I have your back. Let's get started. My first helpful travel tip to you, if you're going somewhere that involves bikinis or just your usual fun outdoor swimwear and you're thinking about getting a wax, just to be a little bit more comfortable, you know? That was my mindset going into it. I didn't really want to have to worry about anything when I'm running around, you know, alive, free. So I did it, I got a wax and if you want to know how that experience goes, especially if you're a first-timer. Hello everyone, hope you're doing mighty fine. I think I'm getting a wax. I mean, I know that I'm getting a wax. I'm outside of the waxing place right now. Anyway, I just thought I'd vlog my experience because I'm really nervous. <clears throat> no okay, I'm back. Uh, people do that every month voluntarily my girl she, she was so nice and would just like casually start up a conversation and she was like oh are you going to any 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 trips this summer and i was like yeah i, I think i'm gonna go to california <laughs> rip and i was trying to hold up this very pleasant conversation and learn a little bit more about this very sweet woman and oh my god all I wanted to do was punch her in the face I wanted to hit her so bad because it hurt so bad but I do feel nice kind of want to go walk around a little it's like um you know like a polished car bye not really I don't know about this one but um yeah so yeah we're all waxed Feeling good. Um, would I do it again? Definitely not. I think I'm gonna bring a total of four bikinis. Maybe five if I'm feeling a little rambunctious. It's just ones that I know are gonna be comfortable. I think one pieces are great, depending on how you're feeling, you know, a little mood switch. But I'm gonna start with the bikinis and I'm gonna put them at the base of the bag. And if there's ever any reason that I have to rip this thing open, you know, maybe in the middle of an airport, because, oh my gosh, I spilled something on my shirt. Bikinis would be at the bottom. I would never, I would never need one in a dire situation. So we're starting this journey out with logic and a clear head, and I think that's good. My next travel tip to you is to pack outfits with the image of your future self in mind. You have to think, okay, I'm going on this trip for how many days? In my case, five. Who do I want to be on all of those days? What energy do I want to channel? Hallie on Thursday. Just, you know, getting into the airport, walking around with her bags, new woman in a new city. What will I want to look like? Oh, welcoming, fun, comfortable, but maybe not trying too hard. So I would go for Maybe some of these. A nice casual pant. Another travel tip of mine, don't spend extra money if you don't need to. Because after the dip my bank account took, after buying this ticket and I was like feeling like a free woman, it was like a little shot in the chest. Like, oh, that's non-refundable. 
And you might be wondering, okay, you want me to have a good vacation, you want me to have five different personalities, plus or minus, depending on how many days I'm vacationing, but you're also telling me to not spend money? Hallie, that doesn't make sense. Well, let me one up that little argument you have there. Do all of the things that I just said, and instead of spending your money on new clothes, kindly ask your friends, would you mind if I can treat your closet like a thrift store? And if you guys are on good terms, they'll likely say yes. Hey everyone, welcome. <laughs> Hi all, I'm not allowed to get Delaney in this, but she's standing right there. Welcome! This is Delaney. Today we're making Hallie <laughs> some outfits for when she goes to... Yes. Out of town. Do you want to give a backstory? I was thinking this. So this is a shirt I thrifted and then I accidentally cut it really short, but in theory, it's really cute. It has a lot of potential. It has a lot of potential. It has a little boob pop if you lift up your arms too. Yeah, so that's not so practical, but... Well, but it could I be. Mean, oh yeah, that's a really... I really like that top. I should show them my coats, even though it has nothing to... I just always want an opportunity to show my coats. And look okay. at this one. <laughs> I just wanted to show someone because I actually have never like worn any of these. Ooh. She's like from the sock. She got it, she got She's it. She's like a 60s. Ow, player. ow! Thanks to the sock. Oh, so what we get drunk. Good tonight. So what we throw. We. <laughs> 30 minutes later, and this is the progress. Any last thoughts? I'm just in a silly goofy mood. <laughs> I'm just in a silly goofy mood, y'all. <laughs> Stay chilly. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cold out there. <laughs> There's been a heat wave. Hope you have air conditioning. If not, <laughs> sending you fans and lots of love. Ding. Ding. So personality for Friday. I'm gonna name I'm gonna name this like mountainous, kind of fairy woodland, like chocolate lab energy. Hallie on Saturday. Oh my gosh! The girl that I thought I once knew in the brown skirt and the brown top. Who is she now? Once you just start looking at outfits as less of a struggle to put together and more of like a, this is, this is my chance to completely change who I am at, at my core. It becomes kind of fun. Did she just come from a college game day party? Who is she? New personality. Alright, another packing tip I have for you. The three ounce rule. I'm not checking any bags, and neither should you. Why check if you can just shove everything into one and save 50 bucks? And my thought process going into this is as simple as this. When I put my hand up to this dispenser, how many times do I squirt it? Two and a half. So I'm gonna be there for five days. I'm gonna stretch it and say, let's say I was showering all of those days. Five times two and a half is is twelve is it twelve point five so five times two and a half five times two is ten and a half is fifteen anyway day one day two Day three, day four, and day five. And you can stay an extra few days because you have shampoo to last you, you know, for however many squirts you counted. Some other tips of mine, just like in general, traveling alone in an airport can be a little scary. I always hear people say, no one thinks about you as much as you think that they do. And it sounds really depressing. I think it's a lie. I think normally when I get the sense that I'm being looked at in a semi-judgy way, I feel like I'm normally pretty spot on because sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel someone looking at me. Look to my right. We make eye contact, which means that they were. So 
where was I going with this? In an airport. I just get uncomfortable when I am alone and I don't have a safety. And to balance that, I just put on a front. I'm trying to think of someone that knows exactly what they're doing at all, at all costs. Bobby Flay. Or Neil deGrasse Tyson. You just know that maybe he doesn't know everything in the world. But just by his demeanor, you're like, I trust you with everything. The NFL, I think, should have a second championship game with all the vegetarian football players in it. And they could call that the salad bowl. Just channel Neil deGrasse Tyson as you walk through an airport or any situation where you're finding yourself alone and a little and a little vulner and a little vulnerable. And I think no one will second guess it. And if they do, you know, you tried. You were your best Neil, and you can't hate yourself for that. Okay, so maybe I did just unpack everything to try stuff on. But I know that it will all fit in there because I got 75% of it before I went through all the stuff that I folded. But I just thought, you know, while I'm kind of tidying up and getting my stuff together, what better way to make sure that I have everything than to look up a little packing checklist. And what better packing checklist to go off of than one for camping? Because who is more prepared than someone that doesn't have any time to go back. Like once you're camping, you're out in the wilderness. If you don't have it, you're never gonna get it. The ultimate camping packing list. Blankets, pillows, cots, sleeping bag, plug-in, battery-operated fan. Okay, luckily it's organized by section. Okay, clothes and shoes, t-shirts, got it. Light layered pieces, got it. A raincoat, don't need it. A sweater, got it. Socks. I need socks. Pants, got it. Pajamas, got it. Underwear, yep. A swimsuit, uh-huh. Wide brim sun hat or visor, got a bucket. A beanie or knit cap, not the vibe. Gloves, nope. Sunglasses, yes. Shower shoes, uh-huh. Thank you, college. Hiking boots, no. Hand and body lotion, uh-huh. Body soap, yes. A brush, need that. So I'm gonna finish this up, go off of this list, and then I'll be on my way. To Los Angeles, California. California. Also a little tired. But I guess I could eat. Guys, I'm packed for Los Angeles. Hey guys, it's currently 6 a.m. I'm on my way to the airport. I vlog. Yeah. Welcome to it. We've been wet. There was a lot of trauma last night. I kind of thought I wouldn't be able to leave until Friday, but Things changed. Yep, on schedule. The world has aligned in my favor. I'm bringing a second back because because the packing that I did try to do, you know, as much as I did try to consolidate space, it only worked to a certain extent. But otherwise, we're all set, and I think I have everything that I need. But I guess I won't really find out how successful this packing journey was until I get there. So I'll see you when I do. Deuces. Oh, no. We all got the hot chat. Trader Joe's chat.